I'm Mike Magnano, Director of Digital Product Development for Atlantic Records, and I'm here to show you, for your sake, inside the making of Shinedown's Amaryllis, a new ebook coming out on March 27th from multi platinum rock band Shinedown. Uh, the book is going to serve as a companion piece to the band's new album entitled Amaryllis, which also comes out on the same day. This book is built on iBooks 2. It was created using iBooks Author, and it's really a first of its kind in the music space. No other major recording artist has done this yet. They've, no other artist has told the story of an album in this way before. Um, it's a really unique experience. We're actually calling it an interactive album experience. Um, it really allows fans to kind of learn what went into the making of the album, dive into the artwork, dive into the photography, dive into a story. Um, that they wouldn't otherwise get through any other medium. The book has uh, close to 100 pages, and um, what the fans can expect is to get a totally insider perspective as to what went into the making of the album. When fans first fire up the book, they're brought to the title page um, where they can dive into a forward that was written by the band's A&R at Atlantic Records, who signed them to the label years ago. Um, this little bit just kind of talks about how impressed he was by the making of the album, how privileged he was to be a part of the album. Um, from here, they're brought into part one of the making of the album. Um, this was all written by a rock journalist based in New York City here named Jonah Bayer. He uh, spent hours and hours interviewing the band, speaking to the band about the making of the record, and, um, and through these interviews, he wrote this story. With the book, you can do some really cool things. Um, iBooks, too, allows you to do interactive image galleries, kind of like this. This is another example of a, a, a type of interactive image gallery. These photos are particularly interesting because um, there was a, a point in the recording of the album where the band actually worked with a massive orchestra. So we got to photograph that experience. Part two of the book, also written by Jonah Bayer, is focused on the dynamics of the band and talks about all the things that they had to go through to, to realize their, their goal. This section is called Inside the Songs with Brent Smith, and it's a track-by-track -track analysis of the album in Brent's own words. Um, Brent touches on every song, the genesis of every song, what went into his thought process when writing the lyrics. Um, and for some of them, we've included high quality video commentary as well. This is the page for Bully, which is the lead single off the album. You can read about what the song means to Brent, or you can click this and you can actually watch him talk about it. So it's really cool because you can't really get this experience in any other format. You know, there are video interviews, there's magazine interviews, there's articles all over the web, but there's really no other product like this that kind of ties it all together and gives you that added depth and that added insight as to what went on during the making of this album. And I think the fans are going to love it. This next section is called Inside the Artwork. This section was written by David Harrigan, Atlantic Records creative director, who created the actual album artwork. It's made up of all real life objects, most of which you can see in this picture here. Um, and each of these objects that you'll see in the artwork represent a different song in the album. They draw from lyrics, they draw from references to songs, and um, it's just a really, really beautiful creative piece. And then you can also dive into an interactive image where you can literally click on individual elements from the artwork and learn what song they're referencing or what lyric they're referencing or why they're in there. And that's it. Um, like I said, it's close to 100 pages of content, exclusive photos, exclusive videos, obviously the story, none of which you can really get anywhere else, all wrapped up into one uh, you know, new interactive album experience.